What's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. Today, with all the requests for more fish recipes, I thought I'd show you how to do a simple marinade. We're going to put it on some monkfish, and then we're going to grill it off outside. Yeah, it's beautiful outside, man. We're going to grill it off outside. So stay tuned. You're going to want to watch this one, yeah? What's up, soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe. If you've already clicked subscribe, hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click. In my bowl here, I've got about two and a half tablespoons of olive oil. And the first thing we're going to do is to make a sort of a marinade or a dressing. We're going to split that into keep half for marinating the fish. And the second half, we're going to drizzle it after it comes off the grill. Yeah, we're grilling today. So olive oil. And we were in... um in Barcelona last year and I fell in love with monkfish and that is what I'm using today at this one restaurant I don't know if you guys saw that video I'll link the video down in the description below but you would pretty much select the seafood you want and then they you would go sit down they would wear it weigh it out you go sit down they charge you by the weight two cloves of garlic one of these bird's eye pepper here seeds and everything because I like to have just a little bit of kick and then they would grill it or fry it in the back and bring it out to you. I first time having monkfish parsley and I just fell in love with it man just the flavor and everything else and I thought you know what when I go home I'm gonna make my own six cherry tomato that I well these are grape tomatoes that I am um, I found in the fridge there it's gonna give it a lovely little color we do eat with our eyes first so they're sort of red and they're the brilliant colors will just make this thing even taste better. Trust me on that. Plus the acidity from that. And two scallions. Just gonna toss that in there. The juice of a lemon. But before I do that, we're gonna go in with some sea salt and a good dose of black pepper. Then in goes that lemon juice. Let's try doing this to sort of catch the seeds in my hand. That's going into the sink. Now, if you don't want it spicy, you don't need an seed just snuck in there. We'll get that in a second. You don't have to use the bird's eye pepper. If you ha all you have is pepper flakes, you can rock that as well. Or you can leave it out. It's totally up to you. Uh, coarse black pepper would be much better. But as you see, as you saw there, I just went in with the stuff I have pre-ground. I'm going to go in with the other half of the lemon, but you don't really need to see me do that. I'm just letting you know. Full list of ingredients will be listed down in the description below. And the recipe itself will be on CaribbeanPod.com pretty soon. So that is all we're doing there. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put in another tablespoon of olive oil in there. So we're up to three and a half tablespoons of olive oil. And here I've got that nice big piece, sort of a fillet of monkfish. And what I did was... I sort of butterflied it so it was thick like this and I just used my knife and I opened it up a bit because I want it to be sort of the same thickness all the way through so when we're grilling it um, we don't run into problems with some pieces being overcooked and some pieces don't. Just going to give that marinade slash dressing one more little mixy mix. Done some of that dressing on there. Just going to work that in and you see the garlic is smelling lovely. You get in all that niceness from the, um, excuse me, I do have my allergies today. The garlic and the parsley and everything else. I'm just going to flip that over now and we're going to do the same thing on this side. We will reserve about a third of the dressing. So I'm reserving this much later on as soon as it comes off the grill we're gonna put some more of that in there now this does not have to marinate for long because we don't want the acid from the lemon cooking the fish it already started there so quickly go outside now and start up my propane grill and um yeah we'll get to grilling let me hit all a little close up as usual i've got my sort of grill pan my griddle on top of the propane 
barbecue here and I went in with a bit of cooking spray now you can put it directly onto the grills if you want but I find I have more control by using this and it's a very very hot the second reason why I like using this method is to show you that if you have a sort of a cast iron pan on a stovetop you can rock this recipe as well so nice and hot and then we're gonna go in with that fish. And you saw that lovely sizzle we got when we went on there. So what I'm gonna do now is put the lid over the grill, put it on, and let it sort of roast within its own juices and within the heat of the grill. Then after about three minutes, let's make sure we in focus here. There we go. What I'm gonna do now, and I'm using my friend here, and we're just gonna flip that over. And then we're gonna pour in all the marinade that was on the plate where we marinated the fish. We're gonna pour that back directly onto the fish. Yeah, so I flipped it over as you can see and um, developed some nice color, got a nice little bounce to it. So I'm going to take it off the grill now because I don't want it to overcook and the residual heat will continue cooking it even after we get it off the grill. So the whole idea now is to just take that off. And we're going to hit it right away. It's fresh off the grill there. Some more of that marinade that we left back. I told you guys it's going to double up as a marinade and as a dressing for the fish. It's going to, yo, this is just pure niceness, man. We got all the garlic in there and the herbs and the lemon. And speaking about lemon, we're going to dress up the page a little bit. Got to make things look pretty, you know. And we got to remind people that there is a little kick in there. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. Grilled monkfish, the season is here for grilling. Take advantage of it, all right?